It's double talk is what it is. And I think she threw us under the bus. Well, fear mongering scare tactics. The accusations were flying today at the Clark County Commission meeting in a battle over progress on the east side, including possible future commercial development. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live near Charleston and Fogg with the explosive decision. Joe. Yeah, Trisha, this is the dirt lot that the fight was over right here, but soon it could be a family restaurant and that has some people fuming. Please cast your votes. Motion passes. It was a unanimous decision to move forward on possible future commercial development on lots along Charleston near Hollywood. And they use fear mongering in order to be able to get support or opposition. That's not a way to govern. Commissioner Chris June Kiliani not holding back, letting crusaders against commercial development have it. She was actually rather um, cold regarding our viewpoint. You know, this is America. She actually put us down and said we were using fear mongering tactics and scaring people. LK Wagner has been heading up a door to door campaign against making changes to a land use plan in Sunrise Manor, which could open the door to what she claims is higher crime and other unpleasant elements. It's double talk is what it is. And I think she threw us under the bus. The decision is the first victory for the landowner and supporters who would like to see this lot rezoned to commercial use and a family restaurant built on the dirt. I'm always talking about the east side. I'm always talking about positive changes in the east side. So this is definitely something different that you know that we need. Commissioners say this is just the first step and there's a long way to go before anything is built. And I spoke to the landowner by phone. She says that she's been working towards building that family restaurant on this plot of land for more than two and a half years. The next step in this would be for a rezoning, and there's no word on yet when that may happen. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Joe, thank you. And just a reminder, we looked into this story after LK reached out to us. If you have something you would like us to investigate, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and be sure to include your telephone number.